Okay, so question number three. So this question involves with the sketch of the graph and also the translations. So it means this is from topic two of AA curriculum. So here we need to consider the function uh, f of x equals to e to the power of x minus 2x minus 5. And question A, on the following axis, we need to sketch the graph for uh, x value between the negative 4 and the 3. So using GDC, we can do uh, Euler's number to the power of x minus 2x minus 5 and graph it. And you can see that the graph actually does look like this. And then we need to sketch the graph of the f for x value between the negative 4 and um, less than or equal to 3, right? So what you're going to do is we are going to approximately figure out where these roots are located and then draw the graph. So here is your graph. So you can see that I have identified the roots and then the y-intercept, right? So roots and the y-intercept. And also, since the question identifies the domain you have to use, uh, you always have to identify the correct endpoint, okay? So if you look at the mark scheme of this question, you can see that it is asking you to identify the correct roots, the intercept, and also the correct endpoint, right? So always read your question and see uh, what you need to include for sure to get the full points. If you look at the next question, the question says that we have function g now, which is defined by this equation. Uh, and then g is obtained from the graph of f by horizontal stretch with the scale factor of k, followed by the vertical translation of the c units, right? So we know that the function g of x is actually translated from the function f of x, which is e to the power of x minus 2x minus 5, okay? And we need to identify the vertical translation. And vertical translation means uh, we have to check how the y has moved, right? So you can see that the function g of x has negative 7 as its y-intercept. And function f of x has negative 5 as the, its uh, x-intercept. So you can say that uh, we have moved down to negative 7 from negative 5. So it's 2 units down for C, or you can say negative 2 for C value. And if you look at the horizontal stretch, horizontal stretch refers to the x-axis, right? So you can see that the graph has 3 in front of the function g of x, so function g of x has the uh, 3 in front of the, the first x, the first power, right? And then f of x has 1, right? And then we have negative 6 here, negative 2. It has uh, stretched by the factor of uh, 1 over 3. So we can say that k is 1 over 3. Okay, so question number 4. This question is actually from the topic 3 of your curriculum, okay? So we have a company designing a new logo in the shape of the letter C, and then letter C is formed between the two circles with the center O, and we have a point A which happens on the circumference of the inner circle with the radius of R. So radius here is R, and the R value is actually less than 10. And we have a point B, uh, which lies on the circumference of the outer circle with a radius 10 centimeters. So it means this has a radius of 10 centimeters. And then the reflex angle AOB is 4.8 radians. And the letter C is shown by the shaded area in the 
following diagram. So in this diagram, right? So let's do question A. So we need to show that the area of the C, that the C is given by these values. So question A, let's bring the diagram. So this is the diagram that was presented in your introduction. Okay. So we need to show that this shaded area is about 240 minus 2.4 R square. Okay. Uh, we do know the angle and we know that the radius from the center to point A is R and the radius from the center to point B is 10. Okay. So we can use the sector formula to calculate the area of the C. Okay. So we first going to calculate uh, the area of the bigger sector. So when I say bigger sector, I'm referring to this part here. Okay. So we can do a uh, big sector, area of the big sector is equals to 1 over 2, 4.8 times 10 square because the area of this sector formula from your formula booklet is same as 1 over 2 times angle times r square. Okay. Then area of the small sector which I'm referring it as this part here is same as 1 over 2 times 4.8 times r square. Okay. Then uh, when we subtract the area of the small sector from the area of the big sector, we get the area of the C. Okay. So we do area of the C equals to area of big sector minus area of small sector. So we do uh, 1 over 2 times 4.8 times 10 square minus 1 over 2 4.8 times r square. Okay. Then we get uh, 2.4 times 100 minus 2.4 r square, which is same as uh, 240 minus 2.4 r square. So we have shown that the area of the C is given by 240 minus 2.4 r square, so QED. Okay, then now we know that the area of the C is actually 176. So question B, I, we need to find the value of the R. Okay, so question B, I, we need to find the value of the R. So we know the area of the C is same as 240 minus 2.4 R squared. And now we actually know that this equals to 176, so we can do uh, 240 minus 2.4 r squared equals to 176. Okay, then we have minus 2.4 r squared equals to 176 minus 240, which is same as 2.4 r squared uh, equals to 64. Then r square is same as 64 divided by 2.4. Then we can square root the both sides to find r value. Then r is same as 5.163977. Then we can say that r value is approximately 5.16. Then let's look at the BII. Now we need to find the perimeter of the C. Okay. B I I. So now we need to identify the perimeter of the C. So let's redraw the diagram. So we do already know that <coughs> this part is R, this part is 10, the radius is right, and we do know that uh, the R value actually is same as 5.16. 
3977 from the previous question. So that means uh, this part here is same as 10 minus r. So we can say this is same as 10 minus 5.163977. So it's approximately equals to 4.8360. Okay, so we do already know the lengths of these two sides, right? These two sides. Then we just have to figure out the arc length of this bigger sector and then arc length of this smaller sector. Okay, so the arc length formula from the uh, formula booklet is same as angle times r, right? So we can do big arc length is same as uh, 4.8 times 10. Then smaller arc length is same as uh, 4.8 times 5.163977. Then when you add all these together, including the two sides that we already calculated, so 4.8360 times 2 is equals to 82.4590. So approximately, the perimeter of this logo is same as 82.5.